I am out in California today and drove out here from Austin two days through the desert. It was 117 at one point. Um, but Henry sent a very interesting um, arrangement of LaGrange that I think must have taken him quite a bit of time to put together and I like it a lot. Here I am up here in the corner. Here is Henry's arrangement. He's changed a, a, a lot in here, but it still sounds like LaGrange. did to this and it's really cool I mean first of all it's a 9-8 um, so it, it kind of has this waltz sound uh, or feel the drums are much slower than the original or the, the original the do cat do cat do cat here it's more like a da, da, cat. so it's it's slower um, I love that he added the organ in and I can see why he put trombone and violin in there just to kind of give this violin um, melody right here play on that i mean i love that it maintains the syncopation of the original and the swing of the original um it's not as energetic, and I wonder about putting the solos over this feel. It's really going to change it. Um, and those solos are pretty iconic. I mean, the, the whole song is mostly guitar solo, <laughs> other than the main riff. Um, but still, this is really good. Really good. I love what he did on that bridge. Really weird. It, this This sounds like what... Um, an Invincible Zars version of LaGrange should be more than any of the other stuff that I've been messing with. Um, I love, I, I want to scroll back over here, I love this movement he gives to the guitar instead of just being da 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 it moves down. Let's listen to just that guitar. Da, da, da. And that bass part. I'm going to try adding real guitar to this and mess with it a little further and, and see how it comes out. But man, that is, that is big progress. Henry gets bra bravo from me.